In episode 1 of Kaiju No. 8, a kaiju appears in Yokohama, but the defense force successfully defeats it. Kafka Hibino's company is tasked with cleaning up the kaiju's body, and Kafka is assigned to work on the intestines, much to his dismay. That night, Kafka is still haunted by the smell of the intestines, and he reflects on a promise he made with Mina Ashiro, the defense force's third division captain, when they were younger. The next day at work, Kafka meets a new part-timer named Leno Ichikawa, who aspires to join the defense force. Kafka explains to Leno why he gave up on his dream of joining the defense force as he got older. However, Leno, who is determined and optimistic, doesn't understand Kafka's logic of giving up. As they work on cleaning the kaiju, Kafka and Leno bond over their struggles to eat lunch amidst the foul smell of the intestines. After work, a small monster called Yoju appears, and Kafka pushes Leno away to safety. Reminded of his childhood promise with Mina, Kafka tries to hold off the Yoju but is overwhelmed. Fortunately, Leno returns to help Kafka, revealing that he alerted the defense forces and couldn't abandon Kafka in need. Mina and her team arrive to defeat the Yoju and save Kafka and Leno. At the hospital, Leno encourages Kafka to pursue his dream of joining the defense force. Kafka accepts it and decides to try, but then sees a flying small kaiju above him. Before he could react, the monster says that he found him and enters his mouth, transforming Kafka into a kaiju. Realizing the danger Kafka is in, they decide to flee. Meanwhile, Mina remembers her promise with Kafka, and receives a call about Kaiju appearing at the hospital. She agrees to dispatch her team to handle the situation. And that's it for this episode, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.